this video, I will be showing you how to create beautiful Amazon posts using the software Canva and how to make sure that they are within Amazon's requirements. This will definitely help boost your listings for free. Hi, my name is Nicole and I am part of Tomer's Amazon team. Please show your love and support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting any questions that you have down below, and sharing the video. All links will be listed down below. Let's start! To start, I will be showing you the tips or the posts creative tips from Amazon. So the first one is to show your product and its value. Inspire customers to imagine using your product by showing it in a realistic setting or visually attractive backdrop. Avoid using a plain white background. So as you can see here, the don't and then the do. You can see the difference. So the don't, it has a white plain background. It's not as appealing. While the other one, the do, uh, it shows how to use the product. So the second tip is to keep it simple for faster impact. Complicated images take longer to understand, so they're more easily ignored. Avoid using collaged or crowded images. So as you can see here, the don't and then the do. The don't, it's very crowded, it's very distracting. While the, the do, it's straight to the point. It shows the product and how, it, how they use it. The third tip is to let the image speak for itself. Text on an image can be difficult to read, and extra graphical elements can distract from showing your products clearly. Avoid adding text, buttons, or icons to your image. So both of these are don'ts. As you can see, the texts are quite distracting, and also the buttons, it's unnecessary as there will be um, buttons down below the post. The fourth one is to elevate quality to earn trust. Use a high resolution image to reassure customers of your brand's credibility. Avoid common quality issues like blurring, stretching, or extra space around the image. Again, both images are don'ts. As you can see here, it doesn't really fit the post. There is like a black um, border at the top and at the bottom. And the second video is stretched out. As um, a fellow buyer, uh, I usually do also buy on Amazon. I would rather want to buy from a store that has uh, professional pictures rather than those that just use random um, and they don't even fix it. So that's that one. And the fifth one is to tell a story. Build on the visual story behind your image and your caption. Tell shoppers why your products and brand are unique and valuable. Avoid simply repeating your product description or adding customer reviews. So here the don't. You can see Nutrition Co. Healthy Grains Granola Bars. Variety Pack 1.2 ounces, 15 count. It's not really catching. While they do, simple natural ingredients like fruits, nuts, honey, and whole grains make your granola bars an ideal treat for your taste buds. So Amazon's image requirements are as follows. The image size has to be 640 by 320 pixels or larger. The aspect ratio has to be between 1 to 2 and 2 to 1. The file format has to be JPG or JPEG or PNG. And the color format has to be RGB or with color. So now that we know the requirements or the tips of Amazon, we can now start creating the beautiful Amazon posts using the software Canva. Although you can use other softwares such as Photoshop or any other online softwares that are the same as Canva. So I'll be showing you how, to, how I create uh, the Amazon posts for our own brand. So first I'll get um, an example product. So uh, this is what I saw. Uh, this is an Echo Dot. I'm sure most of you know what it is. So I just simply save that. And then we go to Canva. So I'll be showing you what size I usually use. The thing is, this is what I think fits the best in the Amazon post. Um, I, it does say that you can use 640 by 320 pixels or larger, but I find this the best since uh, you can actually put a lot of 
stuff there or or you can show a lot with this size and at the same time it lo it really fits the Amazon post so I will be sharing with you the size that I usually use and it's 640 by 750 pixels there. so the next thing that you have to do is you can actually just play around with Canva first okay so now we can edit using Canva the thing with Canva it's very very easy to use given that it has the elements, um, photos, text, audio, backgrounds. You can just simply search what you're looking for and most of the time it's here in Canva. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put the product there. Wait for it to load. And then the next is we have to find a suitable background. So um, usually Alexa's are found um, beside the bed, the bed table. So I'll be placing the bed table. And as you can see, there are a lot. You can just simply find the best one or the one that you like the most. So for me, I like this one. Although as you can see, there's already a picture there, but no worries. We can just cover that with the echo dot. So just put that as the background. Just, yeah, there. just resize it. And then with this one, as you can see, the background is white. All you have to do is edit the image and use the background remover. It's that easy. All you have to do is resize it and you can flip it if you want so it looks better and there you go it's as simple as that canva is very easy although you, again you can also use photoshop although photoshop is quite um complicated to use unlike canva you can just simply use the background remover, uh, look for pictures here in the photos. They're free as long as you upgrade to Pro. I'll also show you an example of looking for one outside of Canva, the background. So all you have to do is search for royalty-free images and just simply choose whichever. So I like to actually use Pixabay and then again just search for the image as you can see there. Um, there's one here although it's too far. This one doesn't look like a bed table. This one is the lamp and just look for more. Although sometimes you can't really find good ones and these kinds of royalty free we can actually use this one there we can just put it here so just download it for free okay and then simply place that background here in the blank canva resize it there, just so it looks like it's um, it's the bed and then again just simply place there you go and then flip it so it looks that way and another thing that you can um, place here is shadows just so it looks more realistic so as you can see here, the shadow is the left side. So you can just simply do that. Drop and then put it on the left side, bottom left. And you can just adjust it. Actually, I'll just put it on the bottom. And what I like to do is to make sure that the shadows, the shadow is the same as the shadows 
uh, that you can see in the background. There we go. There. There. See? It's that easy. And then all you have to do is just download it. You can download it as PNG uh, or JPEG. You can put the quality to 100 if it's JPEG and just download it. And to post it, all you have to do is to go to Amazon Post or posts.amazon.com, create post, and then upload the image. Write your caption, and of course, don't forget to put the ASIN here. You can put as much as you want. You can just separate it by a comma, a space, or a new line. You can also schedule the post and submit for review. So I'll show you what good posts look like. So here, as you can see, post status is live. All of those are within the tips and the requirements. If you see this one, live and then details, post may receive limited impressions because it does not meet the quality bar. You can see that it really did not meet the quality bar or or that it only received limited impressions here. You see, um, the impressions here are quite high and this one is just nine. So be sure that the post that you create is within the tips and also the requirements.